I'm Carl. I'm Riley. Welcome to the Tasting Room, where we try cocktails and give you our opinions. Today we're going to do a drink called Punch Romaine from the channel How to Drink. So this is going to be the first time we've done this style of cocktail uh, during the Tasting Room. Normally we try three different liquors. But we figured we'd kind of change things up and we're going to start picking out random cocktails from other YouTube channels and or books or, or books or anything else out there in the world that inspires us. Right. That we might find interesting or like, ooh, let's give that a try. Um, some of these might be harder techniques to do than just your at home uh, cocktail, but they seem interesting. Yeah. You know, so uh, our first one is going to be Punch Romaine. Uh, from again the channel how to drink greg is uh the host of that channel he's been doing it four or five years i think he's the only second cocktail channel with over a million subscribers hmm. number one i'm pretty sure is tipsy bartender interesting yep so uh you know he's a great format i'm pretty sure if you're watching this channel you've seen his channel so this drink is from uh the show hannibal which I didn't even realize it was a real drink until I saw this episode. And it's from uh, the guy who invented it was a chef. And this cocktail was on the Titanic. Yeah, it was the last drink they had. Or it was the, it was served at the last dinner on the Titanic. Yep. yep. So um, it's a more sophisticated cocktail. Um, that's what we got when we watched the episode. So I'm excited to definitely try this. It's Fancy. got, yeah, it's definitely got some cool parts to it. Um, they use shaved ice. We don't have an ice machine or a shaved ice machine. And he's opposed to going outside and getting snow. I mean, I would add comical flair if we did that, but <laughs> whatever. So I got my mallet. I'm a little angry today, so we're going to do that. So he used a specific glass. I forget what he called it. Um, it was a fancy big uh, coupe. We don't have that. We have coupe, but we're going to use these because the shaved ice is going to add a lot of room or it's going to take up a lot of room in the glass itself. So the drink is, like I said, Punch Romaine. It is half ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of OJ, one ounce of rum, one ounce of sherry, one egg white topped off with champagne. We'll put the link in or we'll put the Des recipe in the description. description. Yep. So let's start off with, I think the sherry is. No, I put it somewhere. Well, I mean, obviously. I put it right here. Yep. So he used Fino Sherry. And when we went to uh, our liquor store, <laughs> I think they had two Sherry's. Yes. A Cherry Sherry, I think, or a Sweet Sherry or, or a Dry Sherry. And I'm pretty sure Fino Sherry is a Dry Sherry. So, yeah. For sure. So we got an ounce of simple syrup. Or I'm sorry, half ounce of simple syrup. An ounce of this Sherry. And this is our first time building this and drinking this. So that's why I have a note card because I'm not going to remember this by heart. I can't even remember my own cocktails by heart, let alone someone else's cocktail. And sorry if you hear that, there's neighbors taking down a tree. An ounce of fresh squeezed orange juice, which Mrs. Roommate did. I did such a great job such of getting job. orange juice yep. all over the table. And he used Bacardi rum. She doesn't like gaps on her shelf. Nope, don't like gaps. And then we're using egg white. Uh, you usually want to do the egg white in the other uh, tin. So in case you get eggshell or yolk in there, you didn't waste a bunch of money with the liquor. I'm going to be super honest with you. If any of this went in there, if the yolk went in there, I'd still drink it. It's because you've made... Ew, that is so gross. <laughs> so that's because you've made drinks with whole eggs in them. Yeah, flips. Uh, but they they actually do kind of completely change the texture yeah, and feel of the drink. And he uh, put an orange peel in the cocktail. He muddled, but I already put the egg white in there. Well, I put it in the I other tin. The other one. But I don't know where the muddler is. I think the muddler's in the kitchen. So. We're just going to go with this because shaking it enough will get the point across. Sure. So, a little dry shake for us. 
<laughs> you gonna make a funny face for me? Gross. Usually he's all like. It's getting everywhere. I almost very, made a very awkward gesture and also face, so. Yep. And then we'll wet shake. Not a good seal this time. I'm getting it's splashed. One of those days. All right, I should have did this first, which I'll probably get some comments on, but whatever. Carl never thinks things all the way through. He always has everything he needs, and it hasn't figured out the order yet, or knows the order, and doesn't have everything he needs. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you do. Did you get that frustration out? Or are you still... <laughs> clip the sound on that one. Okay. That's pretty close to shaved ice, I mean. Yeah. I can pinch it and make a snowball. <laughs> no snowball <laughs> fights in the house, young lady. Oh, I'll throw snowballs all day. Okay. So, we're gonna just divide this up. Gets two. This is what happens when you date someone way younger than you. Wait, we're dating? Or married, whatever. <laughs> okay. This is about good. This is about making two cocktails. Yeah. And then we got some champagne. Again, I can never say this correctly. And well, actually, you know what? I don't think this is a pure champagne. I think this is like a, this is a brute. I don't know. Well, he said brute in the video. Yeah. There's probably things we don't know. People are like, that's, that's whatever. All right, top it off. And we're gonna give you our honest feedback, you know? I mean, it's the whole point of this. I'm not gonna sit here and BS you guys. Oh, this drink's amazing. If it's not, again, we've never had this, so we don't have honestly no idea. It just sounded good. There's quite a few drinks that I... We should have brought up the list of what he said about it. Oh, nice, God. fancy, adulty. All right. So that's what I'm looking for. Yep. And then we got an orange peel twist as a garnish. Didn't he use the match or was that a different video? It was a different one. Oh, my bad. That was the... Uh, uh, oh, the... The ash. ash. We're not... All right, and here we have a punch romaine. Cheers, Cheers. guys. It looks super nice. Mm -hmm. A lot of champagne up front, obviously. Uh huh. I almost want to stir it a little bit. It's kind of the same thing. We're not big champagne drinkers, so I mean, I don't. He, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Just kind of went with it. Yeah, I feel like all I tasted was the champagne. Yep. So, okay. Uh huh. It's super light. Yeah. The orange juice is very subtle. Uh huh. I think the champagne overpowers it, but not like in a bad way. It takes over. It takes Doesn't over. Doesn't overpower. Um, I don't be super honest. I'm not super familiar with uh, sherry. I know it's like a dry fortified wine of some nature, I believe. Um, so I don't know what to expect when drinking that. I don't know what, I, I can I can assume it's the taste between the orange and the champagne. Right. But it's good. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't that hard to build. This is definitely, 
a drink that anyone can make. Yeah. Um, you know, is having crushed ice a necessity? Probably not. You know, but maybe. Maybe. But again, these mallets are pretty cheap on Amazon. I would be surprised if it was more than 20 bucks. I don't know. I remember you being really excited when you ordered it. Yeah, because then I was like, ooh, I can do crushed drinks. I can do so much. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how to feel about it. I don't not like it, but I don't know if I would willingly drink it. I'd willingly like on, drink it. On purpose. If someone wants something different, a little lighter, a little bubblier, you know, just to kind of change the pace. I could, like, one throughout the night, you know, like, here, let's, let's do this real quick for some people. <sighs> I feel like I would drink it way too fast. Yeah. I'll sit down so I don't, so I'm not so dominating. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's good. I would, I would say it's a good drink. Nothing more, nothing less for me. Yeah. It's drinkable. It's nice. It's light. It's easy. <laughs> it's, it's fancy. It feels it's, fancy. Now, like we did a couple of champagne videos on New Year's Eve. Mm-hmm. And those were super champagne forward. You know, mm -hmm. they were just a little bit of liquor in there, a little bit of spirits and a little mm -hmm. bit of flavor. Um, this is definitely a change of pace. So if you're looking for a champagne cocktail with more f flavor, more things kind of going on, this is definitely one of them. It's not explosion of flavor. No. But it just kind of masks the... Right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a, a couple dashes of a ginger bitters or something would be nice. Mm hmm. Something a little bit more aromatic on top. With that crushed pineapple one. <sighs> then again, I don't really know what rum tastes like because I haven't actually had rum in a minute. <laughs> I mean, white rum. Well, yeah. I... Okay. Well, oh, you get the pineapple. I see how it is. I do all the work. Yeah, it gives a little bit of something extra. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, still. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's fine by itself. Like I said, if you just look for something different to do, I mean, I don't know how long, or I'm sorry, not how long, but how much people have sherry just laying around their house. But that bottle was like $6. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... And champagne. So, again, if you're just looking for something different to do. If you've yeah. got champagne left over from New Year's, you got an extra bottle you haven't opened yet. This, this, is be, good. this yeah. would be a good one. Something yeah. different to try, you know, like right before dinner. So, yeah. just like, so. Anyways, we hope you guys like this uh, episode style. We're going to, like I said, we're going to do one Friday of this. And the next try to our normal three blind taste test video. So, just kind of change the pace. Um... You know, we think it's kind of fun to try other people's cocktails because that's all the whole point of drinking, trying other people's stuff, man, yeah. right? So. We check ego at the door here. I try really hard to. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I like having cocktails and having fun with people. I just, I don't care if people, what they do or whatever. Right. It, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's your drink. You drink what you like. That's why I tell people, you drink your, you drink your drink how you want it. Just don't make me drink your drink. Cheers. Cheers. Pink. Pink.